<laughs> okay, hello guys. Um, I'm sorry it took me a while to talk, but I'm not actually a talker. And this is a little bit out of my comfort zone when it comes to um, doing art and doing it live, number one, and also speaking while I'm doing it. Um, I'm trying to do an Obama piece, so hopefully it'll come out um, looking like him. You know, art is kind of like a... Um, I, I like to say art is a lot of mistakes and sometimes your mistakes come out good and sometimes you know it's pretty much a hit and miss basically so um, I'm doing this um, live so you might hear my son um, eventually and I do apologize for that um, and you also might hear other family members so once again I apologize about that but um, it's been long enough I've had this channel and I haven't done anything with it so um, I'm just going to leave this talking portion like this and I will continue drawing Okay, right off the bat. I have messed up this ear. I don't know why I made it so small.
I'm having a hard time with this mouth. Which would change his expression. He'll either look confused or with a smirk. Okay guys, this is my Obama image. I don't know if you think that really looks like this guy here. But I did do my best. Like I said, it's pretty much trial and error when it comes to doing um, artwork. Is is the artist's perception Okay, so now I'm going to outline it. Hope I don't mess it up. This is the biggest thing with um, lining art. You don't want to ruin it. And sometimes that can happen. Sometimes my hand isn't as steady as I would like it to be. And I decided to do um, Obama because he and his family, to me, is an inspiration. Um, I know people have other political views, and I don't really like talking about uh, political views with anyone because it's a subject that, you know, can start a debate and sometimes arguments. 
people's feelings can get hurt. So um, I pretty much try to leave that out of conversations, which is my preference. But yeah, just watching him and his family, how much they love each other and um, his... The way he ran the country to me is very honorable, you know, to me. I believe he did try to, you know, try his best to do what was best for the country. I believe he had um, different, um, not different, but certain people in his way that wanted him to fail no matter what, regardless on if it helps the country or not. <clears throat> so... That's my view, and I hate to see him go. He was actually um, elected the same year that my son was born. So that's also a also a sad and tender subject because, um, well, not sad and tender, but it also is a subject that makes me proud because... I know my son and my grandmother would have had that in their lifetime, you know. Both my grandmothers on both sides, you know. And that's a that's something that makes African American people very proud. You know. No, you you don't want to really say you know, you only support him because he's African American. That's not why, you know, I supported him and still do. Um, my thing is, is that I love to see us in positions where we can be seen for how great we are and not always what we're labeled as, you know. So... I'm very pro people, you know, do what's right, that type of thing. But I'm also for, very much for my culture, you know, for, as some people say, my people. And I do want us to succeed in everything that we do. And I want to, you know, be given chances to succeed and make our print without having a whole lot of, necess not necessarily people in our way, but um, ourselves also in our way. And that's what anybody, when a society sees a certain culture as the problem or their problems or their culture's bad habits as what the culture's all about and for us to be in a position where people can see that we are able to run a country, do positive things, you know, it's a, I'll always love, especially when I have a son, you know. I want him to be able to see that African American men, black men, men of any race can do anything and be a positive influence on the world, you know, and not necessarily how other people may see because their experiences, you know, you can always change somebody's mind by your behavior and, um, by how you treat them. And to me, Obama treated everybody with respect, you know. He let you know um, about him and his family, how he loved his family. You know, we saw how much he loved his Michelle. And I think he's just an awesome person, you know. Guys, I think it's starting to look pretty good. I 
I gotta finish the hairline though. <laughs> And if you have any of your own opinions, um, I want to keep this channel as positive as possible. So if you have your own opinions, I don't mind you putting them in there as long as they're not hurtful to other people that are watching my channel. And as long as you're respectful. Because, like I said, I try to be respectful to everybody. Well, I don't know if I said that, but I do try to be respectful to everybody. And um, I respect all cultures. I love learning about other cultures. I really love learning about other cultures. I think it's awesome when um, somebody opens their themselves up and, you know, explains, you know, their culture to other people so we can, you know, understand. So I love learning about other, other cultures. Um So right now I'm trying to debate on if I'm going to actually color it. I just realized this thing was not in focus that whole time. Are you serious? Hey Obama, how you doing? Um I cannot believe that was not in focus that whole time. <laughs> oh figures. Okay, so let me see, I think I'm missing a couple of lines. We gotta get this one. I'm not gonna go all the way. Let me see. Those lines go all the way up there. This one goes all the way up here. Like that. And then this one also has the mole up there. So. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself low because I'm trying to think about what I've missed because I think I'm missing something on his face. And I don't want to put too many of his 2017 wrinkles from the stress of the United States on his face. So I'm just trying to leave that alone a little bit. to do watercolor on it um, pull my watercolors out now on my watercolors my camera keeps moving on my watercolors I like to use um, the pan watercolors but since I do not have um, the brand that I would like to use, I kind of pretty much, um, I don't remember what this is called, but this is the brand that I use. Koi Noor. And, you know, they're pretty... They're pretty decent colors. You know, you got to do a couple of layers. I know my watercolor is messy, but you got to do a couple of layers on them. And they pretty much give you what you're looking for. I'm going to take a red pencil and do some shading really quick. Um, that kind of gives me a little pop of the color versus just doing... All red. I mean, all brown. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? I 
And I'm sorry if I sound jumbled, guys. I just, I'm not really a talker, so I'm trying to, like I said, make myself get out of my comfort zone. And I'm trying to be more talkative. I really don't, I'm not a talker. Like, really, I'm not. Like, even when I'm around my friends, I'm pretty much a listener. Now, I'll clown around, you know. The more I loosen up on doing a channel, I will clown, you know. Do my little jokes or what have you. But for the most part, um, I'm not really a talker. So, you know, I, if my commentary ends up being really boring, I do apologize. But I do thank you for watching. Just give me a chance to loosen up and... Um, become more aware of um who i'm trying to be on youtube okay so like i said i do have a son um he's eight um now my son and i both well my son has um adhd so he's really you know he's really busy but he's also really good with building things so he doesn't have my type of um creativity but he has another type which I love to um nurture you know um he can do things like that show mind that not show I sound really old um the game Minecraft he loves that what the kids see about that I really don't understand I really <laughs> I really don't you can give me a pen and paper and I can doodle all day long but the games and stuff um you know i'll use it every once in a while to stop myself from being bored um because i have a i have i have a ps vita so i you know that tells you that I'm, I'm really not a gamer you know but you know he can figure out anything on those games um he's always been really um really um really good with the with the electronics and everything like I can put stuff together you know I can you know take something apart and put it back together figure out what's wrong with it yeah what have you um my son can figure out how to work anything how to um I guess persevere when it comes to building in the gaming world Which, like I said, I love. I love watching him expand his mind. And I wish the best for him. Um, my father's also an engineer, so I guess that's where he gets it from. Now, with me, I'm a lone wolf when it comes to um, my family. My family's, um, they're really, I guess you could say, worker bees. I call them they're very career career driven I've never really been you know career driven um I guess some people can say that makes me not necessarily lazy or they might say that I'm lazy you know um but that's not it whatsoever I do want to su succeed but um the way I want to succeed I wanted to do what I feel that I was put here to do um, which I believe that is art, you know, and to run my own business. Um, I actually have a company called Art Beat that, where I teach, um, children art. Um, I started doing that with a company called Sway, um, with Sway Enterprises, um, right out of art school. Well, while I was going to art school, actually. Um, and I loved it, you know. Um, I was actually going to school for web design. And I kind of realized that that's not where my heart lies, you know. So, hopefully I will be able to get over all uh, my self-holding back issues that I have. Um, inhibitions, I guess you call them. Um, cause you know, I kind of second guess and, um, whatever 
some people see or feel about me kind I kind of sense it and kind of have self doubt sometimes but um this year I plan to you know work through that you know cuz I am better than what most people will give you credit for so um let me see what else about me that y'all might want to know um I am a single mom so it might be hard for me to actually um do a feed or put up a video and um I do apologize ahead of time um it's not my intentions whatsoever um my son is um like I said he's eight so he's in third grade and you know I'm not ready for him to walk home by himself just yet <laughs> I don't know if you can call me a, a helicopter mom or whatever, but, you know, my son's safety is always first. And when it comes to your child, you can't really trust anybody, so. But he is my heart. Do any of y'all have children? Um... If you're a fellow artist, have you done anything creative today? Um, have you doodled? Have you written? Um, have you painted anything? Let me know. Okay, so... I'm going to kind of use this... I'm going to do a wash because I don't want to ruin the color of it just yet. I like to build up to the darker colors. Um, I've seen some you know, other artists that like to do darker first, which I think is really interesting. And I do watch other um, YouTuber um, creatives and... Um, I love watching their techniques and the artwork and how they come up with the artwork and um, like watching them um, speak about the artwork, which gives me um, a little bit of um, comfort knowing that, you know, there's others like me out there. So, um, but yeah, watching other people do what you want to do. Um, since I'm not able to really surround myself on a regular basis with other creatives, um, it kind of helps, you know, it helps with, um, keeping your mind focused on what you're trying to do, you know, so if you're like me and you don't have a whole lot of friends, I don't keep a big circle of friends, I've never really have, um, my friends are really small. I've been friends with um, my f homies. I guess you could say my uh, my road dogs, my sisters from another mistress <laughs> um, since high school. So it's been a while, actually. I'm not going to tell my age, so don't even ask. Um, so, yeah, they're... They've been there since high school, you know, and I love having a small circle of friends. It's not that I don't want, you know, to meet other people. By no means, it's not that at all. But when you have a circle of friends that you can trust, you know, that you can talk to, that you can vent, and they'll listen, you know, that's, you know, always... A plus and you know you can't really welcome everybody into your space because they can I believe in you letting the wrong people in they can it can mess up your whole um your whole um what am I trying to say your whole 
they can bring chaos, basically. And I'm not one to welcome chaos into my life. So, um, people may say that that's bringing 